You're watching Detroit's first high-definition newscast. 7 Action News at 5. New at 5, college students here in our neighborhood are teaming up to build a home entirely powered by the sun. And they plan to display it in Washington, D.C. And they are creating it from the ground up at Lawrence Tech University, right across the street from Channel 7. Action News reporter Val Clark has more on that from Southfield. It's been on the drawing board for more than a year, but today, this solar-powered home got off the ground. The 800-square-foot home was designed and is being built by students here at Lawrence Tech University, one of 20 universities taking part in a national competition. Entries will be judged on looks, livability, and most importantly, best use of the sun. The frames being constructed with super thick insulation, the hot water heater powered by solar tubing. Sun uh, hits the glass tube. Uh, inside the tube is a copper pipe. Within the copper pipe, there's a fluid that rises to the top when it gets heated by the sun. Ideally, the home will become a model for others now that the challenge of Michigan weather has been met. It's a lot colder here um, in comparison to a lot of other teams that are, we're competing with. So we had to keep into account um, the type, the amount of sun that we're going to be able to um, have throughout the year and keeping that into account as far as how we're positioning our house and where we're putting our windows as well as how we angle our PE panels. The students will be finished building this solar home by the end of the summer. But as ambitious as the project is, it's only phase one of this national competition. Once built, students will dismantle it, travel to Washington, and build it all over again. We'll keep you posted on the progress. From Southfield Val Clark, Channel 7, Action News. Hey, I want to live there. <laughs>